So let's go ahead and get to it here. Everybody, whenever we start a word problem, there's one very important step we always have to take. That step is reading the question, not the whole problem, simply the question sentence. So everyone, here's what I mean. For those of us that are here for the first time, right here, what is its perimeter? Okay, so let me ask this question. Who here hates geometry word problems again? Give me a yes or a no. Who here hates geometry word problems? Seth, read the dang question. Okay, so for those of you that, <laughs> I don't hate it anymore after this, right? But look, for those of us that are feeling some sort of way about geometry word problems, let me actually give you a really good, uh, a re really good silver lining, a really good uh, benefit about geometry word problems. The benefits of doing geometry word problems is that nine times out of 10, they tell you the math. They tell you specifically what formula you're talking about. Want to know what I mean? Everyone in that blue highlight that I just made when I read the question, what is its perimeter? What's a key word that you can point out that you would recognize any day of the week? What's a key word that you notice right there in this problem? And again, in the blue highlight, in the blue highlight, when I highlighted this in blue, right here, what is its perimeter? What word are you going to look at and say, oh, that's math? Yeah, that word is perimeter. That word is perimeter. Remember, the first thing you're always doing is reading the question. Step number one, read the question. What do you want? And what we want is the perimeter. My ASVAB party people, hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible. And we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. Okay. Now, everyone, please help me out. We all know that perimeter means the distance around a shape, secure the perimeter. We've talked about that. But my follow-up question is this. My follow-up question is, well, don't we have some different formulas for different shapes? Yeah. So your follow-up question needs to be, if I see that I'm trying to find perimeter, my next question is, well, what's the shape? Answer that for me really quick. Read the question, read the whole problem. What shape are we dealing with? And no worries, Whitney. And if you want to text me, Whitney, about that, that's good. That's fine. But for those of us here talking about this, yeah, the answer here is square. So again, the benefit of geometry word problems is that nine times out of 10, they tell you the math. They give you keywords like area, perimeter, length, width, surface area, volume. They give it away. Radius, right? Diameter. They give, they have to say those words to define certain numbers. And here they're having you find the perimeter. And whenever you're looking at the perimeter of a shape, you got to know what shape you're dealing with. And that is a big bonus that we have. Perimeter of a square. So I know a lot of you guys said, hey, coach, I have a really big problem with knowing what formula to use. Well, guess what? You just read, I got to find the perimeter. And oh, of what? A square. Is it? Is it a mystery? 
in terms of which formula we need to use, everybody? Is it a mystery? No. Write the formula out for me. It's not a mystery. They tell you right here. The formula for the perimeter of a square. We're able to see that. We want the perimeter of a square. What is the formula for the perimeter of a square? Look at your notes. Take your time. Look at your notes and write it down. I don't want you to rush your answer. Don't rush it. Look at your notes that you took. And if you don't have notes taken down, that's a problem. We got to make sure we have the correct notes taken down. Right, exactly. We wrote this down. We wrote this down. For a square, and this needs to pop up in your head. For a square, the perimeter equals four times the side. Right here. We have side, 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 and side. So four of those sides together makes up the perimeter. And so in this case, everybody, to find the perimeter, to find the perimeter, what's the one thing that we need, everybody? What's the one thing that we need to find the perimeter, everybody? Not the number, what word, what do we need to define? What do we need to define? Jonathan, my man, thank you. The side, what is the side length? What is the side? That's what we need. And if we take a look at the problem, everybody, what is the side? What is it? Ah, side length of six. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. Side length of six. If we plug that in, perimeter equals four times the side, which is six. Everybody, four times six is what? 24 feet. And that is going to be answer choice C. And that's why C is correct. In this case. In this case. So let me walk you through the basic strategy again for word problems, because I know some of us were a little more focused on the actual numbers. That's cool. But if you want to be successful with word problems, I need to make sure that you understand the formula to success. So remember, step one, read the question sentence. What is it that you want? You want to start off by just straight up before you walk into the party, who's in there? What kind of a time are we having? Not just walking into the door and being surprised that there's a lion in the corner, right? So, hey, what do we want? We started off by, just by doing that and we said, hey, we want perimeter. The moment that you know that you're looking for perimeter, area, surface area, volume, whatever it is, the moment you hear those math words for geometry, there is a shape involved. So your automatic question, when you see an area or perimeter problem, what's the shape? Because the shape will tell you the formula. And that's how we were able to see square. Perimeter of a square, what's that formula? Four times the side, right there. All we need is the side, what's the side? Oh, side of six, plug it in, done. And we're good, and we're good. Yes, Alessa, exactly, yeah, the shape will tell you the formula. For example, if I said perimeter of a rectangle, two times the length plus two times the width. If I said area of a square, side times side. If I said area of a triangle, base times height divided by two. Depending on the shape and what you're looking for, there's a formula specific to it. And so that's how I'm, I'm really setting you up to be able to read the information and translate it into the formula the right way. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.